we are adding the first layer of six ounce material, which is quite a bit heavier, but it'll go on exactly the same as the two ounce. Laying it on the top, folding it down. This material is more rigid, but it helps build much quicker now. We have our initial layers on our mold. Takes quite a bit more resin now to uh, to wet out as the fabric absorbs the resin at a faster rate, meaning that there's more fabric to to absorb. We've got the final coat of fabric on, and I'm just blotting it out, making sure that it's completely saturated and wetted out all the way around the perimeter, and there's no dry spots anywhere on the mold, pushing in any of the air bubbles, trying to saturate that out. There are now a total of 12 layers of fiberglass on the mold. The mold half is now completed and will be left alone for about 30 minutes until it is partially cured, but still soft enough to be trimmed with a knife. Dennis trims the mold, leaving about a one inch lip, which will later be used to join the mold halves together. So I'm going to take and start here. I can see the outline of the, the surface coat through the, the cloth layers, and I'm just going to follow that outline and pushing hard, and I'm cutting actually into the box. After trimming, the mold half is left to cure for 24 hours before removing it from the parting board. To remove the mold from the parting board, Dennis uses a number 784 mold release wedge. He works the wedge around the edges of the mold, gently prying it up from the board until it is released. After the mold half has been released, it is washed. The clay and PVA are washed off with warm water. Sometimes household dishwashing liquid is helpful, but solvents are not recommended. After the mold half is washed, the surface is inspected to make sure no residual clay or unexpected imperfections are found. Now that I have the mold washed off and the PVA is removed and the clay excess is removed, the next step is to trim this outside edge. As you can see, the surface coat is only out about an inch, but when I trimmed it with the knife, I came out just a little bit extra so I wouldn't come too close to the plug. I'll take a Dremel tool and just trim back nice and neat right up to that surface coat layer. And I'll also trim back the back edge of the cowling also. Next, the hole in the parting board is cut to allow the mold to be turned over so that the other side can be constructed. The plug is then waxed as well as the lip of the mold half. Although the plug has already been waxed three times, the lip still requires all three coats of wax with an hour wait between coats. When the waxing process is complete, three layers of PVA are again applied, waiting two to three hours after the final coat before proceeding with the layup. After the PVA has dried, the other mold half is ready to be constructed. The process will be exactly the same first applying two layers of surface coat and allowing each to dry before continuing, an epoxy putty applied to the corners and edges, applying a resin base coat, laying up four layers of the lightweight two ounce cloth and eight layers of six ounce cloth. Again, the lip will be trimmed in about 30 minutes, just as soon as it is firm enough to be trimmed, but still soft enough to be done with a knife. It is then allowed to cure for 72 hours before continuing. After 72 hours, Dennis drills a series of holes through the lips. These holes are for both alignment and clamping. They will be used later to clamp the halves together when the mold is being used to lay up parts. <laughs>